everybody and welcome to Life with Annie. So tonight I'm going to cook up um, one of my favorites and I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to fry up some cube steak and then I'm going to make rice and gravy and then I have some leftover veggies that I'm going to heat up. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and get going here is I'm going to bread my flour I mean, bread my cube steak with some flour. And let me grab a spoon to get some of this flour out. So this is one of my favorite meals to cook. And I haven't had it in a while, so I thought, you know what? We're gonna fix it tonight. All right, so there's our flour. If I need more, I will, um, add more, but I should be okay. I've got, um, come on, man, get on there. All right. I've got not too much cube steak here, so that should be plenty. We'll put that aside. We've got our cube steak here. Let me just set that on there for now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just season mine up. You can do just salt and pepper. You can do whatever flavorings, seasonings you like. I love the Lowry seasoned salt. So sometimes I don't put it in the flour. Sometimes I just run the steaks through the flour and then sprinkle it with the Lowry's. But today I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of mix some in here. And so I'm gonna, go, I've got that ready. I've got my cube steaks there ready. So I'm gonna make some rice and gravy. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out. I'm going to do one cup of rice to two cups of water. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my rice in here. This is a half cup, so I'll do two of these. cups of water. There's one cup of water. And two cups. So I'm just going to set this on this smaller burner back here, bring it to a boil. And then I'm going to, um, that's the front. That's the back. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the to the rice. When it comes to a boil, I'll let it boil just for a little bit, then I'll turn it off, I'll cover it, and let it continue to cook. All right, so we're gonna let our rice get going here. And here y'all can kinda see where I got it, right there. Ready to go, I'm gonna let that get going. And I'm going to um, be back in just a little bit, and we'll finish this meal up. Okay, as y'all can see in here, our rice is boiling. So I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to cover it and just let it continue to cook. Okay, y'all, I'm going to start breading this. Let's see if, yeah, I think our, our grease is pretty much there. So I did cut these. These were two cube steaks, and I did cut them up in smaller pieces because I like to get more of that crunchy. Um, so I like the smaller pieces. And then we're, I'm just going to drop them down in here. It's bubbling, but I don't hear it. There we go. There we go. So I think we had our last really, really, really cold night last night. After today, I think the temperatures are going up. And toward the end of the week, I think we're going to have some 70s and 80s. Close, lower 80s, upper 70s, hopefully. 
because I've got some things I want to do outside, but I just, it's just been too cold. And I'm going to save this flower and um, we can use that to make our gravy. Alright, put this last one in. A little, little piece there. Okay, so let me throw this away. Give my hands a good wash. I'm going to let this kind of cook for just a little bit on the, each side. We'll flip it. I'll come back and we'll flip it in just a little bit. Okay, for my vegetables today, I've got a couple of leftovers that I need to use up. So we went to a restaurant the other day and I had some corn and I brought that home. So I'm going to reheat this. The other day I made something and I, I cooked some uh, green peas on the side, so I've got a few of those left. Good day to clean out the fridge. And I'm just going to pop this in the microwave and I'll hit it in just a little bit. In the meantime, I think, let me check our cute steaks here and see how they're looking. Not quite ready to flip. Alright, so I'm going to clean up here a little bit and we will come back and flip these cute steaks. Y'all, I'm going to take these yummy smelling food steaks up. drain out any excess grease but you want to have a little bit of grease in there to make your gravy so I'm not going to take any out I don't think that I need to I did turn my burner down but you want to have all these little good bits down at the bottom because that is good flavor I might take some of them out just to nibble on but you want to leave some of that in there and then, I'm just going to add in some flour. And then you're going to kind of cook your flour a little bit as I make a mess. I probably could have used a little bit more grease than I had in here, but... It's okay. It'll be all right. Oh, I am making an absolute mess. It's probably a little bit drier than it should be, but we're going to go ahead and add some milk to it.
I'm going to work all these lumps out. And I may, you can do this with water too. I have, I'm at the very end of my little container of milk. So if I need to add that, I will. And if I need to add some water, I can do that also. So I've got this on low. And let me grab that last little bit of milk that I had. that in. I don't buy a lot of milk, large containers of milk, because it, I do have some in the freezer. We just don't go through the milk, and it, would, it goes bad, so I try to plan what it is I'm going to cook and have enough milk for that. Look at all those good bits in there. Okay, so we're just going to let that kind of simmer a little bit. Turn it up just a touch. And I'm gonna, I got my veggies in here, so I'm gonna put them in, start them, let them reheat. Let me wipe some of this flying flour off of my stove top here. the bottom of your pan. Now I'm not going to add any salt and pepper to this because I had seasoned my flour. There is our rice, and this is going to be way more rice than I need, but we can always make something else with the left, leftover rice. If you don't eat all your rice, don't throw it out. Save it. Okay, so let me grab a plate here. Dip out some rice. Good bits there. Oh. There's our gravy. And then all those good little crunchy bits. 
for a few stakes there. And then let me get my edges out here. That is going to be a good supper. So we've got our cube steak, rice and gravy, uh, green peas. This is actually Mexican street corn when we went out to eat the other day. Um, this is one of my favorite things, and I get it off the cob. And it's got a little bit of cheese in it. It's really good. So this is going to be my supper tonight. I've got my, my sweet tea here ready for me. I've already fed the dogs, so now it's my turn to eat. And remember, save your rice if you have leftovers. You can make something else with it. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm going to go eat my supper. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.